population. So uh, I guess at least to that extent, you will see far less uh, panic in queues outside ATMs and bank branches. But let's now shift focus to what's been happening in Bengaluru. The tragedy that happened on Sunday where a 22-year-old woman died after the car that she was traveling in was trapped inside a flooded underpass. The driver of this rental vehicle has been arrested by the police. The family was traveling from Hyderabad to Bengaluru. And according to eyewitnesses, the driver of the car made an ill-advised attempt to navigate through the waters. Uh, the water was at least uh, five to six meters high, resulting in the vehicle becoming partially submerged in the water. This was bang in the middle of what is called the Kea Circle underpass. Five people were saved, but the lone woman, the 22-year-old uh, woman who was uh, working in Infosys as a techie, uh, she could not be uh, uh, rescued, she could, not, she could not be revived. She was wrenched out from the car, but by the time they took her to hospital, she was already dead. Chief Minister Sidramaya visited the family at the hospital, announced 5 lakh rupees as compensation and free treatment for the rest of the family. The government has also announced an audit of all underpasses in the state. and FIR has also been registered against BBMP officials, but the question is, we saw this in the rains of September last year when large parts of the outer ring road collapsed. Now we're seeing even inner city uh, roads and underpasses being flooded with the kind of rain that we saw on Sunday in Bengaluru. Till when will these urban death traps continue in the IT capital and who will gather the political will to fix this problem? This is that car in which this whole incident took place. After that, this vehicle that got stuck in the waterlogged underpass. 22-year-old girl was sitting in the rear seat, so that's the that's the place where she was exactly sitting. Well, there were also other five members in the same car. Including driver Siri, Yor Jana Idru. Our barricade Akiro, the Malabundi barricade to the Buddha. You know, driver Ruyan Madaboda Gitu, underpass the Wogre Rebecca. Underpass the Wogida. There are heavy rains and there will be water clogging under the underpass and all. But I don't remember any death happening. That means there, there is a um, uh, mishandling of the whole thing and uh, the particular drivers are not taken precaution. And uh, it could have been avoided and uh, timely action by the BBMP could have saved the life. There is some lapses. That has to be really looked into. All right, Dr. Sudha Halkai, spokesperson of the Karnataka BJP, Aishwarya Mahadev, spokesperson of the Congress Party, Prakash Belwadi, actor and former journalist, also joining us. Uh, Dr. Sudha Halkai, uh, the, you heard from the Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister. They are saying that the driver made a mix mistake. He was an outsider. He didn't know the local roads of Bangalore. He didn't estimate 
how deep this underpass was and therefore he made the mistake thinking that he could drive through that water but it was at least four or five meters deep and uh, it was largely his mistake that led to uh, this accident. Yeah, very good evening to all our viewers. Uh, first of all, my condolence to the departed soul and uh, my regrets to the family who had come to visit our state and they had to succumb to this uh, very uh, uh, unexpected and uh, uh, very, uh, I, I don't have words to say for this. But the thing is, um, after our independence, it was more than 40 years or 51 years, the Congress government has ruled uh, our uh, Karnataka state. So the foundation was not uh, up to mark and uh, the comprehensive developmental plan was not implemented with tooth and nail. That is the reason that every monsoon we are facing this. It is not the first time that uh, such incidents has happened, but uh, in other, uh, in one or the other ways, uh, we get to hear such incidents whenever the monsoon starts in uh, Karnataka. So I think that, you know, uh, the we have gone very much against the nature. I mean, uh, the people of Karnataka, the Congress government has gone very, very much against the nature in the early days of uh, administration. And because of this, they had planned, uh, we are facing all this. Out of 50 lakes, 38 lakes were closed by the Congress government uh, 40 years back. Why did they close it? Why did they go against the nature? Okay. And because of this, we are all uh, heading towards this uh, uh, incidents, very uh, painful incidents, I must say. And uh, the Comprehensive Development Act is not uh, uh, implemented tooth and nail, I've told earlier also. And okay. Okay. Uh, All right. The urban so ceiling. Let yeah. me ask uh, Ashwarya Mahadev of the Congress. I believe this is not just one underpass. There are 29 such underpasses across uh, yeah. the city of Bengaluru, and most of them were flooded last night after the rain. Uh, isn't this an abysmal sort of statement on the infrastructure story uh, in Bengaluru? Last year it was the outer ring road areas, the IT corridor. This time it's even happening in the heart of the city. A person dying because of water logging should not happen in uh, in a city like Bangalore. Good evening, Zaka. At the outset, I would like to express my deepest condolences to the young lady that lost her life. And uh, it is extremely unfortunate that this has happened. And to apportion blame and whatnot, I think there are a few systematic issues that have happened. The BJP spokesperson went on to say it's a 40, 50-year-old problem. It is one simple thing, ma'am. If you are a party with a difference, if you believe in Achyed, Vikas, Vikas, and Amrit Kal and whatever new terminology you're using now, Definitely what is it that you did in your term? Inclement weather also happened last year. You saw the sort of flooding in Bangalore. You saw people losing their lives then. In the one year since, what is it that you have done? What has the BBMP done? And what is the sort of audit that happened post that? Today, Zaka, it is not about apportioning blame, but there are certain realities that have to be made clear. The BBMP has not had elections in years past its mandate. It is now being run by only administrative officers. Mr. Tushar Girinath has a lot of explanations that he gives out, says there will be an audit, sits in front of computers, well and good for him. But what action plan is on the ground is something that the Congress government, which just came into power on the same day we took oath as our Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister and Ministers did, have rushed to the spot and have also had a conversation about what is the status on all these underpasses. There are systemic issues of infrastructure no, but which we should have learned lessons. I I should have, I should have, ask, one, 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 one second, one second. One, let me ask the question. Uh, you know, these underpasses, and I think Prakash can correct me if I'm wrong, these underpasses have been in existence for at least the last 10 years, if not the last 15 years. Uh, what then, what then have successive governments done? Because rains happen every season. In fact, in Bangalore, it happens every couple of seasons, right? One, twice in a year, there are heavy rains. Uh, what have successive governments done by way of audit uh, of these underpasses. And like I said, there are more than two dozen of them across the city. Not something that was built yesterday or day before. They've been there for at least the better part of the last 10, 15 years. Zaka, the problem is not of underpasses in themselves. It is about routine desilting and also maintaining the drains that go through there, especially if they're in low-lying areas. I could have an underpass for the past 50 years, and if the BBMP is not clearing it out, desilting is not done. If you are not maintaining your drains or the drain work is not maintained, that is obviously going to lead to waterlogging. So you can say it has been there for 10 years, but the civic duty and the responsibility of the BBMP officials in this case of maintaining this and having learned their lessons from last year is what is uh, not having learned their lessons rather is what has caused this lax okay. in this situation it is uh, not about the infrastructure sure. it is maintaining upkeep and management there are, of there infrastructure. are four callers who are also on the, phone, on the phone line like one second i, I want to get prakash in first please please yeah. uh, uh, prakash you're, you're a you're a resident of bangalore uh, other cities also have underpasses and flyovers and and there are places that get waterlogged mumbai famously every time there is monsoon you know there's this uh, milan subway which used to be uh, uh, the go-to for all TV journalists.
because it would inv invariably flood. But to say that a person died because of water logging and the car, you know, unable to pass through the water, uh, that is just unheard of. I mean, you heard what Mr. Bombay said. There have been, you know, uh, cases of water logging in Bangalore city also last monsoon, the monsoon before that. But people dying because of that, surely something more could have been done to save this young lady. Well, firstly, you know, this, this underpass which, where this uh, tragic incident has happened is less than a kilometer from uh, the seat of power with Sauda. And maybe the police, which, which, which are very used to putting up barricades, could have just put a barricade across that underpass if they thought it was dangerous and it was yep. filling with water. And, you know, the, you would think that was something really commonplace and easy to understand, and maybe that should have been done. There's no point bl blaming any government or minister or chief minister on this, because the political class in Karnataka look at Bangalore as an ATM, I think, and, you know, they don't really do anything with this party or that party. I mean, I've been here, I was born in Bangalore, and, you know, it's just become worse every year. These underpasses are really bad engineering and very poorly designed. It is next to Cabin Park, by the way, just it's adjacent to Cabin Park, and, you know, it's, it should be really easy to drain the water from yeah. there. And, uh, yes, there's no great maintenance, you know, as, as the Congress spokesperson said. And it's, it was not there before also. But I want to tell you, this is an engineering problem. There is a very good study done by satellite uh, you know, image triangulation, which shows that Bangalore has a ridge at the middle and water flows, as I said, even the last time, left side and right, right side. And uh, you, know, you know exactly where water logging could happen and where it should be avoided. And you know, Bangalore is a city of engineering and technology and rocket science and satellite science. I don't think there is any conversation between technical experts in this city and the government. All that the government actually governments, I will say, look to do is plan some, you know, over over overhead uh, elevated roads, uh, hundreds of kilometers of them or tens of kilometers of them. And then we'll have to go and protest and file cases before NGT and so on. And then usually the government doesn't last till it happens and it goes okay. away. You know, there is no, like, you know, there is no BBMP election, correct. Yeah. But there is no comprehensive development plan for the city. There's no master plan for the city for, I don't know, what, two and a half decades now. It's really terrible. And, you know, the Bangalore development story is always in the hand of, of the chief minister of the state because it's such a such a very powerful portfolio that it is never given to any no single minister is given this charge for a very long time now mm -hmm. it's a real it's a real problem and it can be easily easily solved with good engineering but i don't think anybody has interest in that matter so let, let me get some callers in uh, incidentally all of them are calling from bengaluru today uh, prem raj is our first caller from bengaluru yes, yes. good evening mr prem yes, raj yes good evening to you good evening to you See, I, I think uh, this incident is have been happened because of the bad maintenance of these uh, underpasses. Mm -hmm. And the bad drain, drainage systems are not uh, being, uh, you know, done properly. And I think uh, this, uh, the proper maintenance system should be, should be installed on all the underpasses. And, and also it could have prevented, if there is a flood warning signal or water logging warning signal could have been installed in all underpasses. Yeah. So it's very easy for the coming traffics, you know, the car traffics to understand what is in behind. Because in all developed cities, if there is an incident or the road is blocked, you'll get an early warning system. Mm -hmm. That means you cannot pass through that area. So this could have installed in all underpasses Easily in Bangalore. Done. That is with, with very, very minimal amount. It could have saved lives. Of All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Prem Raj. Let me also go to our next caller. Vijay is calling us from Bangalore. Uh, Vijay, good evening. Good evening, sir. Hi. Uh, my point is like uh, both the political parties are equally corrupt. And like uh, I just saw in one of the local news channels where uh, they said the drive, they booked a case against the driver yeah. for taking the underpass. Yeah, correct. The poor driver has lost his cab and there's a lady who has lost her life. And, and people are playing politics. I mean, like, give us a break. And, and like, uh, unless these people get stuck in traffic and like they go through this, these politicians would never realize. 
So All right. stop blaming each other and take some action and, and help us have a peaceful life. Okay, Vijay, thank you for your call. Uh, Sarvesh is also calling us from uh, Bengaluru. Yeah, Sarvesh. Good evening, yeah, good evening Jaka, and uh, good evening to all of uh, your viewers. So I think they are, as Prakash put it rightly, there is a fault in the design. See, all these uh, days, uh, it's a fashion to create uh, concrete roads. Mm -hmm. But when they are building the concrete roads, they don't leave the on the uh, you know below the footpath where the water can escape. Yeah. So when the water is escaping, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the all the leaves and other dust uh, they don't go and uh, you know get dumped in the gutters. And there is also a nexus of uh, politicians and uh, builders who have encroached the uh, lakes and uh, they have built uh, apartments. And uh, naturally, water uh, you know whenever there is a heavy rain, water will not find a way where, where it should go if it yeah. is all the holes are packed. Correct. And this this is this has got nothing to do with the BBMP election. This is just an excuse to blame the other party. All right, we'll leave so, to that. Uh, thank you very much for your call. Krishna Mohan is also calling us from Bangalore. Krishna Mohan. Uh, hi, good evening, Zaka. I'm, uh, uh, you know, as uh, uh, some of the uh, panelists mentioned and the callers mentioned, actually uh, irreparable damage caused to the city of Bangalore. You compare the city with the city of Mysore. Mysore, you can see that the roads built about 100 years back. See the town planning at that point of time. These are all town planners uh, who are actually qualified engineers or someone with uh, expertise in the in the area of town planning. And there are others like corruption, uh, the real estate lobby, they have Raja Kalue or what you call rain water channels and the successive governments and BBMP officials have actually uh, created and that nothing can be done to Bangalore. All right. Uh, Thank you for your is, call, Krishna yes. Mohan. Uh, Naresh yes. is calling us from Mysore. Incidentally, our previous caller was talking about how uh, do the contrast between the roads and the drainage systems in Bangalore and Mysore. So, Naresh, yes, go ahead. I'm very happy to talk to you. Zaka, uh, you saw our Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. D.K. Shukumar, enjoying the cricket match in KSEA Stadium. When KSEA uh, officials can handle the situation, they cleared the drainage system in 10 minutes. Why don't you <coughs> uh, uh, remove the BPMP officials and put KSEA officials to handle the drainage <laughs> system of Bangalore? Yeah. Good point. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you must give credit to the uh, to the KSEA uh, folks who actually drained out the uh, entire Chinnaswamy Stadium uh, within a matter of minutes after the same three, three and a half hours of rain. Uh, I think that's a fair point. But I, I want to come back to Aishwarya. I think uh, Prakash also hit the nail on the head. I don't think it's just a maintenance issue. It's a structural slash engineering issue uh, because the same underpasses flood every time there is uh, the rains in Bangalore. And more importantly, why is accountability not being fixed? It's one thing to say, okay, you know, BBMP elections have not happened. And I'm not condoning that. Absolutely, BBMP elections should happen. It should happen forthwith. But in the meantime, who takes responsibility? Which structural engineer, which civil engineer, which contractor is being held accountable for this death? Zaka, two things before that. First and foremost, in this case, there was also a barricade put which fell because of the rain and then the driver inadvertently drove in through there. Second, to compare the urban sp sprawl of Bangalore to a lower densely populated Mysore is a false equivalence. And the fact is BBMP officials have also been booked for negligence. I think this was a systemic problem of lack of accountability and which is why when I say BBMP elections have to happen, it is because there is far more public representatives on whom accountability can be laid in this case and that was the point I was trying to make. I think largely this is extremely, extremely unfortunate. The BBMP officials, they have looked, they are going to apportion blame in this because we believe it is the negligence. When there are no elected people there, there's obviously a committee that overlooks all of this. There's a committee that overlooks, you know, roads, underpasses, drainage, the power command karmikas that work with it, I think there was a larger problem of that coordination and that is something which we are going to fix. The Deputy CM Mr. D.K. Shukumar has already spoken to the officials. He visited the site also at with the Tushar Girinath who's a BBMP commissioner along with Ramlinga Reddy and all of them have worked to see that where there, where there is fault there will be action that is taken but larger than that 
there is this systemic infrastructure problem in Bangalore, which could have been fixed from the previous inclement weather and the rains that we saw in the past few years, okay. which has not been done. But the responsibility is on the Congress government to ensure that this does not happen any, Do anywhere Dr. to Dr. anybody. Dr. Halka, uh, you, you know, uh, the problem yeah. of the BBMP being headless, at least politically headless, no mayor in Bangalore for the last three years. You could have very easily fixed that problem. The reason why no one wants to have BBMP elections or get Bangalore a full-time mayor is because, as Prakash said, Bangalore is an ATM. Every politician, fix, every no, minister, no. every chief Chaka minister wants to, to wants to keep uh, control of uh, Bangalore because the money Chaka. is coming from there. Zaka, the fact yeah, of the uh, matter nice remains question. that even when the BBMP first denotification, like the notification happened, there were massive discrepancies. The BJP itself took it to court. Then it came back with an unscientific reservation policy, which was challenged no, so, by so people across all. So let me ask. Now, my question was to the BJP spokesperson. Yes. Yeah, one thing, uh, Zaka, nice that you have asked. First and foremost, I would like to say that you know why uh, this uh, our Karnataka is uh, 920 meters uh, above the sea level, unlike uh, Deradon, which is uh, 640, and uh, Delhi is 300. One thing, there were so many 50 lakes, and the among 50 lakes, 38 lakes were closed in the first 40 years years of our independence. Okay, we have gone completely against the nature, Zaka. Let us analyze this fact. Okay, we say that you know if the building has to be strong, you know the pillars has to be strong. Likewise, the foundation has been a complete failure. There was a failure in concrete engineering, and uh, so this is the reason we are facing it today. It is not the question of one or two BBMP elections. Mm. Why was this not handled in the earlier days also? Let us see. Being a very very uh, responsible citizen being a doctor uh, without being biased of being any uh, member of any party i would like to say that you know it is a very uh, um, uh, it, it is a very uh, you know shameful act that uh, such things have uh, taken place and uh, we all together had to fix this but the problem is when the earlier days see um, our bangalore has grown enormously it's more than yeah. one crore population is there you know and now to fix this problem is very difficult so why in the earlier so stage when the pub, the people had given the power to the Congress. Why did they, why they didn't do so it Prakash, properly? I'm Prakash, not doing any blame Prakash, game here. I'm not doing any No, I'll give Prakash the final word. I, I need to wrap up. up. I, I, have, I have less than a minute, ma'am, please, with your permission. No, Prakash, no. so what, what, be, what needs to be done to fix this? Yeah. See, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a single example that will illustrate it and very clearly for you. You know, there is a Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board. Board, yeah. Now, nobody ever talks about it. I never see them on TV. I've never seen an official coming and explaining. Actually, they should manage the water in the city. Now, before it becomes, joins the sewerage or drainage system, there is water because of rains. And it rains, if this of me, pre-monsoon showers in Bangalore, May, you get very dramatic, stormy rainfall, with cloudburst kind of rainfall you get every year this happens. Now, the thing is, who manages that water? Should BBMP do it? Does BBMP have somebody you know, who, who knows exactly how to integrate the water management system, how this water needs to get into the you know, Raja Kaluways? You know, this is, see, in the little part of the Raja Kaluway that they have done you know, um, uh, uh, in the last couple of years, mm -hmm. you see the water flowing easily. You know, if you can integrate it, there's some 835 kilo kilometers of Raju Kalave. If, the, if that flows, it'll go into the lakes if they don't actually encroach on the lakes, of course. And it'll be sorted. You know, they, all this has been sorted a thousand years ago. You know, okay. Bangalore is a tank civilization. But it, as it said, again, it's an engineering problem. If you can get some a group of engineers, you know, who are not going to be influenced or coerced to do anything wrong by politicians, it can be fixed. All right. We'll That's all that. I will say. Yeah. Everything else I'm, is I'm just... I'm completely out of time. I'm completely out of time. Thank you very much to all our guests. Like I said, we had this last September. We thought it would be fixed by now. Again, this year in May, it's happening. And I hope that when the monsoon actually comes later this year in June, July, August, uh, we hope that we don't see similar scenes. At least by then, hopefully the civic authorities, the newly elected government will wake up to this problem and be able to fix it. Uh, that's a wrap. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'll catch you again tomorrow night.